today we're going to take a quick look at how to merge an HDR image in Affinity Photo. So let's jump into Affinity Photo. Once you've got it open, you're going to click File, down to HDR Merge, and click Add. Uh, then you're going to navigate to where your photos are stored and click select them all and click open and then you're going to come down here make sure that automatically align is selected automatically align images is selected down here scale rotation uh, automatically remove ghosting so this 40 percent should be set there anyway uh, and tone mapping tone map HDR and click OK and what this is now doing is it's just importing those images and it's going to do the um, HDR merge so it's going to align them all you should you really need to shoot an HDR on a tripod and basically what an HDR is is it is a high dynamic range image and how you get that is you've taken a photograph uh, multiple photographs one set at a fast shutter speed and one set at a slower one and multiple in between. And what that does is you've got one that's slightly overexposed, one that's underexposed, one that is um, correctly exposed. And what that does is it means you can see stuff in the, shallow, in the shadows and in the highlights and it maintains all of that detail throughout the entire image. Okay, it's pretty much done here. It's doing a bit of denoising. Okay. We're nearly done. Right. And basically, um, it gives you a much greater dynamic range so you can pull things out from the highlights and the shadows. Okay, so once it's opened up in here and it's done all of its kind of wizardry, I have no idea how it works, but down the left hand side, you've basically got some different presets for this. So you've got natural, you've got detail, cool high contrast black and white and dramatic. So if you look at each of these here, you've got your high contrast black and white, dramatic, cool, which basically lifts up the blues, um, making it a much colder image, uh, and detail. All we're gonna use is natural, or you could always hit cancel and it'll basically bring it back to almost a raw image. So we're going to hit natural and we're going to basically, actually, yeah, we're going to go with natural and we're going to um, adjust it. So first of all, grab your curves adjustment, drop down the blacks on this image, nice and low, basically correcting the exposure. Then we're going to go to local contrast and we're just going to take that up to about 50% and that looks crazy you could go crazy with this go to 100% it, it, it looks bonkers but if that's what if that's the look you're going for you can do that but we're going to go to 50% okay and then we're going to put a little bit more saturation in a little bit of vibrance and then click apply now what we're going to do is we're just going to get rid of these power lines here so we're just going to select this tool here and what you're going to do is you're just going to get rid of these power cables oh, well i am anyway so you can do all of these kinds of adjustments with uh, an HDR so you can go and remove your power lines we're just going to do a quick job of this taking way more than we need to and obviously you can go and you can refine it as much as you want okay that's done it's done an all right job it's not amazing uh, and then you can adjust other things as well. So um, let's just go layer, new adjustment layer, hue saturation, and back into this image. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to adjust our yellows.
greens. Just give us a little bit more saturation. And there you have it. That's how you can edit a HDR image super quick in Affinity Photo.